Hey, welcome back to Gertie's RV. Hey, got a short video for you today because we just ran into an issue. Our slide, it won't go all the way out. We're going to take a look at why that is. What do you say? So, what we actually did, we went to put the slide out for the first time this season. Got it out to about this point, and we can push the button. It just about comes to a stop, and you can hear a different sound from the uh, hydraulics. So we're looking at a couple of different things that could be the issue. One, it could actually be going out crooked. If that happens, it gets pinched, gets pinched to one point and won't go any further. But we're going to go out and take a look at that real quick. What do you say? So now that we're outside, I'm going to go ahead and just measure. Basically, this measurement from the end to here is 26 and a half, maybe a little over. Take a look at the back side here. And sure enough, I'm within an eighth of an inch. So I know it's not getting stuck because it's crooked. There's one other thing I may might take a look at here. And that's going to be the hydraulics. Now, not all of you have hydro hydraulic slides, but in our case, we do. And that would explain why the pump's making a different noise. Come on, let's take a look over there. So, in this compartment here is where our pump is for a hydraulic slide. So, I'm going to lift that up. It's on this convenient tray. All I have to do is pull the pin and slide it out. Now, my guess is this reservoir here doesn't have enough fluid in it. But before I take a look at that, I'm going to have to pull the slide back in. Hopefully, it'll go back in without using my manual pump to crank it in. So here goes nothing. Let's see if it slides back in by itself. Sure enough it is. Now, with it all the way in, that's when the most fluid will be in the reservoir. So we're going to check the level of it real quick and see if it's a little lower than it should be. So back out here outside, I'm going to go ahead and pull that pump back up. Again, now that the slide is all the way in, this reservoir should be nice and full. Let's take a look. Just as I suspected, it is pretty low. So, if you read on this pump, I can use a dot two, I'm sorry, a dex two or a dex three. All this is is ATF fluid, automatic transmission, and this covers dex three, so it'll be perfect for this application. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up real quick, and then we'll try it out. Now that I've got it filled up again, I'll put the cap back on it. Now the manufacturer recommendation is to leave a little bit of room at the top. It specifies one inch. I'm just about there, maybe a little over. But my guess is, when I run that slide in and out a few times, I'm going to get some of the air bubbles that were in that system, and it's going to be taken place by new fluid in this system. So I think it'll come out about right. I'll go ahead and run it three or four times out, and we'll check it again to make sure the level didn't go down too much. Okay, I cycled it out and all the way back in three times, and it went all the way out without an issue. The pump didn't make any different noise, so I think we fixed our problem. But let's go ahead and double check.
sure enough, I'm right about that one inch mark. So that seems like a good system now. Now you may be wondering why it was even low in the first place. My guess is the one who owned Gertie before us never checked this fluid. And any hydraulic fluid, or any hydraulic system you have is going to lose fluid just by going in and out. The, uh, as the piston runs by the seals, a little bit seeps out and <laughs> falls off. So we'll keep an eye on the levels from here on out, but I'm guessing it's going to fix our problem. See, now it extends all the way. So we're going to take this opportunity, since we're already dealing with the slide today, to go ahead and do the seals. Again, this is a simple product. Protects the seals from UV damage and actually lubricates them quite a bit. Makes it slide in and out and use a little easier. So this one outside. So this product's pretty simple to use. Again, all you got to do just take it and spray it straight around that steel there. I like to take a rag or a paper towel and smooth it out slightly just to make sure it's evenly covered the entire seal. You'll also want to do the seal underneath, in our case the seal on top, and the one on the back side. A little hint, once you pull this back in, if you do the inside of the seal as well, it'll slide better going back in. Well, one problem fixed today, and that's about all I have for you today. So until next time, thank you. Give the, give the video a thumbs up if you like it. Give it a thumbs down if you hated it. Hey, put something in the comments. Tell me why I did good. Tell me why I did bad. Again, I'm still learning here, people. Thanks. See you next time.